What was your Thanksgiving drama this year? Our family uncle crushed one of the kids at air hockey, made the kid cry, and posted about it on Reddit. I'm the uncle. You gonna learn today. My 21 year old sister will graduate from college in less than a month. My brother congratulated her on being the first person in our family to graduate college without getting pregnant. Turns out that's not true. She started sobbing and got in her car and drove away. Whoops. I have a history of saying shit to someone at exactly the wrong moment in that person's life. I can relate. My mum, who I've been no contact with for most of my life, said she wanted to reconcile and please come to Thanksgiving so she could see her grandson. She wasn't there when we arrived and told my sister that she didn't want to have dinner with us. Literally nobody cared. And we had a great Thanksgiving without her. Honestly dodged a bullet. Come visit I want to see you. I don't want to see you. This bitch lmao. The gravy was a war crime. The plastic cooking utensil melted into it. I was the first to find out. Macroplastics. My Thanksgiving dinner was me, my parents, and my younger sister. Just the four of us at my parents home. Mum got a text message from my aunt, mom's sister, about how grandma mom's mum was bad mothing the food she made and talking about how her boy's mum and aunt's brothers can't be expected to eat this stuff. Mum texted aunt back would tell her that guests don't get to complain about free food. They just get to choose if they want to eat or not. Apparently aunt took this advice. Because about 20 minutes later mum got several texts and voicemails, she didn't answer her phone, about how aunt kicked people out early and how mum ruined thanksgiving by telling aunt to say that. This is why we stopped going to family thanksgivings btw. Mom's the hero there. Father-in-law got drunk, took his shirt off and then arm wrestled my son, lost. Then tried to tackle his daughter, my wife, also lost. Everyone is worried grandma has dementia but for some reason she made a pie. Everyone ate it and pretended it was pie. Not sure what to call it, it was in a pie pan. There was no crust. It had apples. Deconstructed apple pie. Had to call a tow truck on some teenager, friend of front neighbor's kid, because he wouldn't move his car that was blocking my mom's driveway. She told him to move it since she needed to get something for dinner. He answered that he shouldn't have to move it because it's a public street. I go get the stuff and then get home. I again tell him to move it because I want to park up the driveway. Shouts at me that I can find parking up the street. Now he has no car for Thanksgiving and cop gave him a ticket. Shrug. What an asshole and a dipshit. Anyone with half a brain and a driver's license could tell you you can't block a driveway. My kids got hammered wet night. One got left at the bar and walked 3 miles to get home. I woke up 3am and saw that one kid was missing so I called him. He was still a mile from home so I drove to get him. When I got to him the police were questing him. Said they had a report of a man with a weapon having a mental health crisis. Luckily they got another call and let my doofus go home with me. A long time ago I got really drunk at a bar and when it was time to go home I walked for 2 hours to a house I hadn't lived in for over 5 years. It was getting light by that time and I stopped in the driveway realizing I didn't live there anymore and turned around and walked back for 2 hours to my apartment near the bar I had been at. This was 25 years before Uber existed. So yeah, young drunk people do stupid things. The power went out at the host's house and I ended up cooking and hosting at the last minute. This happened to a bunch of people in San Diego today. Something like 5k homes had power shut off due to fire risk. My grandmother's dog literally died an hour before dinner. We found out grandma gets competitive as hell in beer pong. Semi related but my husband made espresso martinez for my family last Christmas. And after a couple grandma fell over trying to return a shot in a game of table tennis. Might have to go half strength on the cocktails this year. She's nearly 80. My dad said this was the best Thanksgiving dinner he's ever had. I cooked. Or... My aunt's pet lynx torn open my nephew's scrotum. Straight to the air. My dad and stepmom were ragging on me. Which is pretty normal. I came to their house for Thanksgiving and my brother showed up. My brother and I haven't seen each other in about 4 years. Anyway. So they're going on about me and my brother is getting visibly uncomfortable. They've been like this to me my whole life and I think my brother had that realization very suddenly. Same as I did when my girlfriend pointed it out. It was good to see someone get upset about the things they say to me. It makes me realize I'm not crazy. This sounds exactly like my husband. 
except he's an only child. It took me to be uncomfortable and angry, for solidarity to come. They're cut out of our lives now. Family should be a safe place, or it isn't family. Imho. My cousin unfortunately came out as a flat earther while I was showing off my brand new telescope I bought recently. I didn't know that coming out as stupid was a thing. In-laws are visiting from out of town. Except father-in-law decided to leave yesterday and go home before Thanksgiving and did not come back. He told my wife and I. Just not his wife. Mother-in-law is still here. For your information this is normal for him. Is he spending Thanksgiving with his mistress family? This was my first Thanksgiving without my mum so I volunteered to work. One of my co-workers was telling me about how her extended stay messed up her room key and went on property to fix it so she was going to sleep in her car till tomorrow. It is cold tonight. I gave her money for a hotel tonight as a piff in honor of my mum. My mum was cheap and a terrible tipper who would never have given money to a stranger so yeah. My mum inspired generosity and death. Hope you're doing okay. There's a strong possibility that my stepmother sabotaged my stepsister's cooking. I have to hear this story. My sister-in-law let everyone know that her husband has a small penis. One Christmas Eve my dad's then new girlfriend blurted out that my dad has a thick penis at the dinner table in the presence of all his kids. Including me. Their sons and his sister. I had never seen a woman in her 40s turn that red into the stunned silence that followed when it registered what she said. My dad hid his face in his hands for a solid 5 minutes. I forgot the exact context. It's been 10 plus years. But it was an absent-minded off-the-cuff comment in response to something someone said. She didn't just randomly throw it out there. My boyfriend's brother bought over these really spicy chips he got at 5 below. I think they are called the spiciest chips in the world idk lol. Anyways. Both of them ate one. About 5 minutes later. I walk into the kitchen and I see my boyfriend with tears rolling down his face and stuffing ice cream in his face lmao. Then he disappeared for a little bit. So I went upstairs and found him laying in the hallway, drenched in sweat and barely able to even speak. He said he threw up and he wasn't human for the next little bit. Both their grandparents were calling them idiots lol. Novices you're supposed to prime up the digestive system by eating a banana first. He's gonna be having round 2, spicy butthole boogaloo on the toilet tomorrow. My 12 year old cousin wouldn't eat any of the food that my 80 year old grandma spent the whole day making because it wasn't Brazilian. His parents are 100% Italian and we do not have any Brazilian relatives. His parents are brain surgeons so they're loaded. And their excuse was that he doesn't eat homemade stuff. Only high end. I have no idea what that had to do with Brazilian food but I'm assuming it's some sort of phase. I don't even think he's had Brazilian food before. Edit. Holy shit I woke up with a lot of replies but for clarification my dad and his whole side of the family were born in Italy but had me here so I'm American and they celebrate Thanksgiving for me and my siblings younger cousins. Didn't grandma think to shave the turkey? My mother in law was admitted to the IQ by her primary doctor yesterday afternoon. At 4am she had to undergo emergency surgery lasting 6 hours. They still can't get her heart rate down and her kidneys may be failing. And my brother-in-law said that we were being dramatic because if she was that sick, he'd have known before now. Edit. Wow this blew up. Thank you all for the well wishes. I think his reaction is because he hasn't talked to his mum in months. His adopted daughter niece, by blood, got pregnant and he did not approve. So he cut her off. My mill refused to stop talking to her granddaughter. So he cut her off too. I think his reaction is denial because he refused to return her calls for months. Update. She's doing much better today. My mother-in-law recently went from just going to see the GP about this random bump on my belly button to you have inoperable metastatic pancreatic cancer in 3 days. So. Fuck your brother-in-law. Personally. My 5 year old son peed in the cat food bowl while I was cooking and then cut his own hair while I was eating dinner. Chaotic evil. All the grandkids came over and they are toddlers. They ran around the house most of the night in a pack. Screaming and causing chaos and disorder. And eventually they made their way to the mantle above the fireplace where they discovered a box that they just couldn't resist picking up and opening. The oldest one grabbed handfuls of grey dust out of the box and started throwing it up in the air in the living room. Yelling out it's snowing mommy while my aunt stared in shock and horror. Apparently the kids found the ashes of our aunt's old cat and couldn't help but spread the love. Swear this just happened a few hours ago and I couldn't make this up. Face with tears of joy. 
This was a roller coaster from start to finish. As soon as I read grade us I gasped. After finishing off my truck stop turkey meal in my big rig truck I went to use the facilities. Guy in the stall next to me was loudly watching funny videos on his phone and whacking off and moaning and intermittently laughing at the video. Edit. All I heard of the video was a woman saying what's the most expensive device in your kitchen? I'll be hearing that and remembering his mossy oak hunter camo crocs for far longer than I want to. America's funniest porn videos. I got first and second degree burns on my foot and calf from boiling water. We accidentally spilled some warm turkey grease on one of our dogs. He didn't seem hurt. But the other six dogs at the house would always lick him whenever he walked past. It was funny and sad to see how pathetic he looked being licked by all the other dogs. Two bites into my meal at my mother-in-law's house my ring doorbell alerted me to someone ringing my doorbell. I pulled it up and catch an old man entering my house. I bolted out of my chair and went home. She lives close. I get there and no one is there. I pull up the video and see he exited like 20 seconds after he entered grumbling hrrrm wrong house. The funny thing was as we were leaving I thought to myself. Did I lock the front door? What are the fucking odds? My food was still warm when I got back to my mother-in-law's house. I walked into the wrong house on Thanksgiving two years ago. I was 24 years old Lomeo but as soon as I walked in and saw people I've never seen before. I turned around and said bye. It was then that I realized a lot of people probably leave their front door unlocked on Thanksgiving. My aunt pretended to be paralyzed from COVID to avoid taking care of her sickly mother. So who kicked her in the shins to test it? Mum made me cry for being sad about my son's father being dead. He committed suicide two months ago. I'm sorry for your loss. My daughter two years ago and I've been crying. There is no timeline for grief. I wish you peace. My mum died last night. This Thanksgiving pretty much sucked. Luckily, she had plenty of family that loved her and it's been alright grieving. Unfortunately, my sister's last interaction with her was doing CPR. She's traumatized. Everyone is sad. Petty family drama and politics did not make an appearance this year. Just lots of prayers and people telling me they are sorry. I'm so sorry for your loss. That's so awful. I'm glad you have family and loved ones around you. My last memory of my twin sister was giving CPR. So I know your sister is and will be going through a lot too. I'm the black sheep of my family and the outcast. Most of my family has disowned me. I spent today in rehab. It's my 10th day in. 45 day program. I'm done with drinking and drugging. It wasn't that bad at all. Watched football with the other addicts and had a hot meal delivered to us from the VFW. Yeah I'm in of a hospital. It's for the best. Holidays are hard for users. I always drink harder on special occasions so I'm in here away from temptation. Wish you all the best. I'll see you at Christmas. In the same boat as your 28 day program. 15 days in. It was wonderful having people to spend Thanksgiving with for once. Rooting for you we got this. Well my parents are divorcing after 24 years my dad had an affair. And my family Thanksgiving is going down on Saturday so. TBD. Same. My parents were married forever. IDK how you feel about your parents. But I was fucking devastated. If you are too. Know that there's another side and you'll make it through. If you're not devastated. Then that is okay. My cousin's neighbor best friend caught COVID. And was depressed about being stuck in the house while everyone else was out for the night with relatives. So. They stole the pumpkin pie from the fridge and ate the whole thing. Edit. I should mention that the rest of the family tested negative. Which is why they were out. It would be hilarious sad if he couldn't even taste it. Showed up to the in-laws. Mill nowhere to be seen. Phil is in the kitchen working on almost finished dinner. We're told Mill isn't feeling well and is in the bathroom. Husband goes to check on her. Comes back a while later. Turns out she was stressed and ornery earlier in the day so Phil offered her one of his edibles. He has for medical purposes. She ate her first ever edible on Thanksgiving. Got dinner halfway done. Then ended up on the floor of the bathroom with dizzy spells and nausea. By the time we finished up dinner she had fallen asleep. We moved her to her bed then ate dinner without her. It was weird. That's gonna be the greatest leftovers she's ever had. My cousin was apparently at a party last night. This morning when she left. She gave a friend a ride home and when the guy got out of her car he was shot five times. She rushed him to the ear and he died shortly after. Needless to say. She wasn't at dinner. She is doing. 
as fine as she can be. A large mixing bowl full of yams disappeared into nothing while everyone was trying to get food on the table. We have looked absolutely everywhere there is to look and it's just gone. Nine people seriously questioning their sanity now. There are lots of things that could have happened to the yams themselves. But the bowl being missing is a real head scratcher. Eight questioning sanity. One pretending. My dad's wife is back on meth. She hid his keys inside his car so that he can't find them. But it will still start. Push to start car. So she can drive without him knowing. She also stuck a magnetic tracker. Thing on under his seat. I also found out that my cousin with Down syndrome can knock back whiskey just like she's drinking water. She parties harder than I ever could. And I'm jealous. My 17 year old cousin stood up in the middle of dinner and announced he got a girl pregnant and she was keeping the baby. Most people laughed until about 30 awkward seconds went by and one by one we started realizing that he was in fact serious when he started going into details. My 80 year old grandma who hasn't had a drink of alcohol in over a decade drank wine straight out of the bottle after. Grandma give me the fucking bottle right now. Had to listen to my dad talk about how the communists are conspiring with our podunk town's Walmart to make the aisles narrower. I want to be in this much denial about gaining weight. My mum found out a week ago that she has terminal lung cancer and has 6-12 months to live. Needless to say, there was a cloud over the meal. I'm sorry to hear that. I lost my mum to metastatic lung cancer. Please spend as much time with her as you possibly can and treat her as the person she still is and not as the cancer she has. Hugs to you my friend. They used regular green beans in the green bean casserole instead of French cut. So that's why my grandparents green bean casserole felt different. Lol my aunt and grandma got into an argument about whether there are prostitutes in our county or not. Grandma looking at aunt. How do you know there aren't any here? Aunt, because they are all down in. Dumbass. I lost my shit. Literally grandma could have won the argument right there by putting an offer out. My girlfriend's nieces had lice. And they were constantly hovering over my son. Also their dad didn't seem to give two shits. My great grandmother referred to my baby cousin as cute. But odd. The baby has down syndrome. I laughed but I felt compelled to justify myself to the interweb. It was relief at understanding that everyone has that person. My mum complains that my sister's weird ass kid doesn't listen. He's legally deaf. Mum. That's to be expected. None. My wife's extended family ticked us off last year. Hurt her bad. So. We ate out for the first time ever. When we came home. I noticed that she was stress free. This year. She asked me to go out again. We did today. Went to our local Cracker Barrel. And it was good. Above all. She is stress free. Which is good. Stress free is the best. We had two women in our friends group that hung out together a lot. Number 1 turned out to be a narcissistic cunt and tried to make number 2's life miserable and for a good part succeeded. So when we took 2 out to a festival and had lots of fun she cried at the end because it was a stress free day. She was so happy to be able to go out and enjoy herself without someone who made her feel like crap all the time. My puppy wouldn't stop barking at the turkey roaster. Edit. Puppy tax. HTTPS colon slash slash. Imgur. Comma CVXK6Y0. The enemy has been identified. My 10 year old son beat me at ping pong. Twice. Legally he owns the house now. My sister. Her best friend and my niece were so loud and belligerent the rest of us were convinced the neighbors would call the cops. My mum tried to warn my sister that she could end up getting arrested but my sister pulled the I know my rights BS. Had to have a talk with my kid when we were leaving about not repeating anything she heard said tonight because my sister. Her best friend and my niece were saying non-stop deeply inappropriate shit and slurs. I'm insisting on a thanksgiving with just me. My mum and daughter next year cause fuck dealing with that again next year. Although the highlight of the night was when my sister tried to say she's not nor has ever been homophobic and everyone there had receipts to prove her wrong. That was hilarious. I lost the entire food budget in the grocery store parking lot earlier this week. So I had to feed the family from random stuff I had laying about. The kids had chicken nuggets and mashed potatoes. Another flawless Thanksgiving in the history books. Cheers to all. You tried. That's all that matters and the kids appreciate it. My mother-in-law locked herself in her room because I wouldn't let her hold her grandson after he'd been fussy all day and I finally got him to settle for a nap when we got there. 
I didn't want him to wake being passed from one person to another. So she called me a bad mum. My future monster-in-law told us last week her and the kids were COVID positive and in bad shape. She said they weren't doing Thanksgiving so don't bother showing up. Guess who sent long and angry texts about us not showing up to dinner? Our oven heated to 400 but didn't keep its temperature. When we went to take everything out, the temp was only 225. Had to reheat everything. And keep a close eye on it. This is some very pleasant G-rated drama. And I for one appreciate it. A nice palate cleanser. It is literally just me and my wife. And our pets. Unless the cats decide that tonight is fight club there was no drama. My little cousin was running an imaginary ice cream stand. And in a matter of minutes her prices rose from coins to 19. The inflation only ended when one of the uncles paid her an actual quarter for the imaginary ice cream. Incredible business model. Tell me more. My parents cat chose them after fires took over our state last Thanksgiving. She came to the door and decided she was ours. They tried to find her owner with no luck. Thanksgiving morning this year. Cat is missing. My parents are yelling about how she stayed for a year and chose to go back. They're tearing up the house. She had just been to the vet so they thought maybe she was upset. Hours later they find her in a closet they already looked in. She was cuddled up in some blankets and sleeping. I think she was sore from a vaccine she got. My mum is in tears. My dad won't let the cat's feet touch the floor. She is being carried everywhere and fed treats in his arms. Drama. Edit. Cat tax. HTTPS colon slash slash. Imgur. Comma slash 4CD7 LNF. My dad just rushed my mum to the air. And we have no idea what's happening. Edit. Thank you all so much it's 1.30am and they just got home. My mum had intense pain comging from her side. And was getting sick. She was hiding this from us to not affect our thanksgiving. They ran tests and the results so far are normal. They got her on pain meds and some nausea medicine and sent her home. Thank you all for this support. I'm very excited to finally be able to go to bed. My dad is in the IQ after a stroke. Keep your head up. Just being present is the most important thing RN. Best wishes man. My lawyer liberal aunt was invited to dinner along with my marga and Tivaks her uncle. Yep. It went just as how you thought it would go. OMG you invited Facebook to dinner? Deleted. A couple of years ago my cousin had split up with his wife. Which I wasn't aware of. And about a few months after she had on Facebook a look what I bought post. I was typing out congrats guys until something in the back of my mind clicked that my cuz wasn't in the photo and upon further inspection hadn't been in any photo in the past 6 months on her Facebook. Saved myself some embarrassment there. Thanksgiving was supposed to be my wife and me in Oregon. But then my father passed away on Sunday. Booked a red eye flight to get home to be with mum and help out with things. Despite being a poor cook I swung by the grocery store on Tuesday so I could prepare something for the two of us. Turned out okay. Edit. I turned off notifications so I could focus on home stuff. Now I'm waiting for my flight back so I thought I'd check in. Thank you all for your thoughts and words. Uncle by marriage helped paint Sill house and apparently she never thanked him. Now he is holding a grudge. Thanksgiving was to be at the uncle's house until this thing blew up. I'm just back here eating deviled eggs and drinking beer. An argument about the left behind series being fictional or not. My aunt got upset because my cousin and I called the series fictional. Not Christian however. Neither of us were attempting to debate the validity of the Bible's telling of the end times. We were simply stating that the series was fictional by definition. Doesn't the whole series outline the end of the world which hasn't happened? How can that be factual? My cousin got locked up around 1am last night so technically thanksgiving for trafficking methamphetamine and possession of a stolen firearm. Neither of which were his but the guy he was giving a ride to. His bond is $500. Zero zero zero. Happy Thanksgiving. My mother-in-law always buys Thanksgiving dinner and this time she didn't notice she bought the raw turkey and it wasn't until an hour before dinner when she learned she had to cook it rather than warm it up. How was the pizza? I got yelled at for eating cranberry sauce wrong. For all of you asking. I opened the can. Got a spoon. And started scooping it. Did you boof it or something? How does one eat cranberry sauce wrong? I dropped a half full container of cottage cheese. And the dogs were outside. I had to clean it up myself. Who let the dogs out? No drama really. 
but that was because my wife and son were sick and we didn't go visit any family this year. We just stayed home. Hispanic family here so y'all know alcohol is involved. It started off with drawing names for Secret Santa. And now we are hearing about how much of a whore each one of my aunts were. I was on my way to Thanksgiving when my car tire blew. So a homeless woman came by and helped me out. She was a former mechanic and was helping me out all while car side assistance was on its way. They both helped me out and my dad wanted to leave right after and he was getting mad that I didn't leave right away because she and I were talking. Now I'm at Thanksgiving and he asked why I got chippy because I wanted to talk to the homeless woman and I responded right there. I don't appreciate how you just labeled her like that. He didn't have a response. I got her number and I hope to help her out sometime down the road. But right after that, I was livid with my own dad, especially with someone who just helped me out who didn't need to. God forbid you take time out of your day to chat with a person who just helped you when they didn't have to. Man shrugging. Pre-ordered a ham. We didn't get it. Got a organic ham from Sprouts. It said it came with a glaze. It did not so we made our own which was good too. But we didn't have the right seasonings except for cinnamon toast crunch topping and so we had a cinnamon toast crunch ham. Edit. The glaze was honey and butter. Do I know how much of these ingredients? Absolutely not. Because I don't pay attention. My dad called my brother's fiancé's dad fat and had no clue why that was offensive. They literally weigh 5 pounds different. Then he said it again 15 minutes later. My mum was ready to slap him. My partner's roommate shoved me into a wall and threatened to throw me and my partner down the stairs and knock me the fuck out. All because they were under some deluded impression that I had been stealing toilet paper from them. Anyway. Check file a police report off my Thanksgiving bucket list. I guess colon. Ended up in the emergency room at 3am with kidney stones. The younger boy and I made up rules for a used game that didn't come with any instructions. And enjoyed ourselves immensely through two games. Later the elder boy and their father proclaimed the rules boring. Civil war has begun. My grandma who rarely ever talks decided to spill 30 year old tea on my mum. Late granddad. And the war. She gathered up everyone that wasn't born then and started the story like a folklore. It was so dramatic and weirdly diabolical I thought it was some movie she'd seen. Before the big reveal at the end that the antagonist of the story was actually my mother as a teenager. Always wondered why out of her 8 kids my mum is the least favorite. And I can't even ask her about it. Or let her know I know or a full blown war will start. I proposed to my longtime girlfriend this morning after a 5k turkey trot. Edit. She said yes. HTTPS. I. Imga. Comuivaris. JPG. My grandma decided to randomly start antagonizing my brother about him becoming an atheist. She left in tears. Absolutely bawling. Grandma fucked around and found out apparently. The drama was all only in my head. But I got through it, didn't drink a drop. Elderly father tripped and fell. Ending up in the air. Lots of muscle aches. Cuts and bruises but no broken bones. Deleted. My cat got up on the table and stepped in the pies my grandma made. Oh look at these lovely pies. It would be a shame if someone were to step right in the middle of them. Your cat. Probably. Our cat digs up and kills my fianca's $300 plants lol. My little nephew fell face first into my brother's freezing cold pool with his bike and when he was pulled out he screamed. My bike. Every single biker's first words after an incident, is my bike okay? They could have a bone sticking out of their leg and road rash down half their body and that will still be the first thing they say. I am highly allergic to dogs. I can barely breathe if in the same room as one. I've not yet found an anti-allergy med that works. My entire extended family has dogs that they love dearly. If I ask for people to leave dogs home, I am a heartless monster who seeks to exclude these noble furry family members. If I avoid the gathering, I am an unappreciative brat who needs to be part of family holiday celebrations. I often wonder why the same family members who openly tell me they value their pets more than me get offended when I point out that they value their pets more than me. Woke up at 5am to my wife getting ready to head off to Walgreens. Son had a temp of 102. 5. She called the pediatrician line and they had sent over a prescription. We normally go to CVS. But they weren't open. And son could not keep down this antibiotic. He's autistic and has some issues with flavors. 
Luckily we've been able to keep his temp down with Tylenol and Ibuprofen. Or, hope he feels better quickly. Younger sister's kids were acting up and not wanting to eat. Older sister said something to get them all to the table. Younger sister barked back some BS like don't interject or something like that. Older sister has been in a separate room since breakfast refusing to come out. And meanwhile, I'm just sitting back with a glass of bourbon thinking of how they both suck. I separated from my alcoholic husband last week. So it was quiet and peaceful. My first Thanksgiving without him in 33 years. I also accidentally broke a glass serving platter that we received as a wedding present. How symbolic. Our neighbor and her daughter were supposed to join us. And she was responsible for bringing the ham. I made a turkey. And everything else. Charcuterie board. Sweet potato pie. Slow cooker stuffing. Rottle dip. The whole nine yards and she passes out drunk when she was on her way so we ended up eating without her and my seven years old bald because her friend didn't come and she was looking forward to it. Now, my mum doesn't eat turkey. She was counting on the ham. So I was pretty pissed off. My Phil always brings olives and baby dill pickles. My children love that tradition and my HU banks on that being the bulk of her dinner. This year he forgot the olives and brought sweet pickles instead. We will never forget this year. My aunt confided in me that she had cheated on my uncle with his brother the night before. No one knows except for me and that cactus plant in the corner of the room. What do I do? They have been married for 10 years. Edit. Update. So I told my uncle about what my dumb fuck of an aunt did. And he is going to start the divorce soon. That wretched bitch is going to fuck off from this family. I'll keep you guys posted. You must silence the cactus before it tells. Some context. We usually pray before we eat the food. Well this year we were praying and I look up to see that my dog has jumped on the table. Grabbed a whole stick of butter and is on his way out the doggy door with a whole stick of butter in his mouth. Animal lovers remember to keep your chairs pushed in. Well that dog's prayers were answered. My mum died last year. My dad ran off this year and spent Thanksgiving with his new girlfriend. First Thanksgiving of my life without my wholesome family together lol. I'm 25. Wasn't really drama for my family since I seem to be the only sane one. But my aunt came over for dinner while knowingly having COVID. Edit. I have just woken up. To maybe answer some questions. This is all my mother's side. And everyone is fairly conservative so they're all team COVID isn't that big a deal. As far as I know. No one is a COVID denier so while I was out I think the rest of the family that was there got my aunt to put on her mask and quarantine a bit. I was just kinda in shock the whole night. Even if you believe COVID isn't a big deal, if you know or even think you have it, why would you come over? My sister sold some narcotics to an undercover cop at her job. Local PD raided her apartment and arrested her an hour before she was supposed to show up at my parents' house for dinner. Edit. Meth in case anyone was wondering. Also, today our family learned my sister sells meth. An oven mitt suddenly and unexplainably caught fire while sitting on its own in the middle of the countertop. I think that's proof enough that the natural habitat of the chaos gods is every popular holiday. Grandma tested positive for COVID. Grandpa was supposed to be under quarantine. Grandpa was supposed to be at family Thanksgiving because cousins other grandparents had just passed away. We all call grandpa to wish him a happy Thanksgiving. Grandpa answers and asks if we want to talk to our other cousins. Who are currently there visiting grandpa. Things didn't go well. Closed the restaurant I work at, I'm a manager, 3 hours early so the kitchen guys could go home and spend some semblance of a thanksgiving with their families. Assumedly against the wishes of our GM director of operations. Waiting on the angry emails phone calls sit down. Whatever. I'm leaving in 2 weeks. We lost a piece from the Lego set my so is building and with a 1. 5 year old that means everything stops until it's been located. 20 minutes later found it in the instruction book. It was a low-key thanksgiving overall. Half the family didn't show up so my dad started doing impressions of them. This is likely the last thanksgiving we'll have with a very close family friend. He himself doesn't have any family so he's been coming to our thanksgiving for about 20 years. He's 54 now and has terminal stomach cancer. He doesn't have long left. He can't do chemo anymore. His last round almost killed him. We all had a good time. But the whole evening had that undertone and we were all trying to have at least one last thanksgiving moment with him. 
Dinner wasn't served until 7.30. People were mad as hell. My mum died in a house fire about 6 months ago. And my dad's new girlfriend of less than 2 months. Who I've only met twice. Just moved into the house after repairs were finished. This complete stranger then moved her 10 year old daughter in as well and completely decorated our childhood home in her family pictures and ugly Texas themed decor. And then they didn't invite either me or my brother to Thanksgiving dinner. Which has never happened in either of our lives before. Really hoping 2022 is a better year. My parents, who have been divorced for over 25 years spent Thanksgiving together at my mother's house with me, my spouse and my kids. They do this every year to make it easier on me and so I can have one day a year where we are all together again. Before, I would try to have two meals to make sure everyone had a special day. They decided in order to make my day special, we should just have one with all of us there. My parents put both of their egos aside for me, even after all these years. We are still a family. I got tired of all their mockery and destructive jokes and ended up leaving out of the blue. Best Thanksgiving ever I finally learned to have some self-respect. Made my nephew cry in Monopoly. Sorry kid. Learn to manage your money. Wanna buy every property you see? Pay the price when you land on my few properties with hotels. Apparently I'm the asshole. My dad forgot the pie. Every year he makes pecan pies and my cousin loves them. So much so that he got into baking just so he could make my dad's pecan pie recipe at any time. Well, my dad told my cousin not to make it because he was going to bring it. He made one for his co-workers and one for the family. We drove over an hour to my cousin's house. Arrive. Set up the food we brought and my dad yells I forgot the pie. My cousins hadn't been looking forward to that pie all week. My uncle ended up sending them to the nearest grocery to find one. We also needed ice, but there were none. So we had to settle for store-bought blackberry pie instead. My mum hates this time of year because of all the cooking and cleaning she has to do makes her depressed. So we went to a restaurant instead. Everyone was happy. We're probably never having home cooked Thanksgiving again lol. My stepdad called out his ex for smoking weed so much weed that she couldn't afford things. In front of the kids. Thankfully. Absolutely none. My wish is that I'm not alone in this. Nope. We're good. I'm just here to read other people's drama. I might win this year. Uncle's girlfriend, who mind you spent several years in prison for manslaughter, went after him with a knife. Ended up stabbing him a couple times. No serious wounds, as he managed to overpower her and get the knife away. But my god it's redneck entertainment at its finest. Yes, she is now sitting in jail. 19 plus year old siblings whining about having to wait for the food on the other end of the table to be passed around to them. My husband I spent the afternoon in the year because he thought he pulled a muscle in his back. Surprise it's four bulging discs. Fortunately the O's 7 minutes from home so I got to power eat while waiting for CT results and get back back in time to hear the crap news. Elderly lady tried kill a possum the size of a dog with a shotgun that jammed. Went over to fix the shotgun and the firing pin slipped and blew a hole in the wall. 10 plus year old shells caused the issue. Then went out to remove the possum from the chicken coop and got stuck inside the chicken coop with the possum and fought it with a shovel. Not how I even remotely expected to spend my Thanksgiving. Edit. Florida. Possum still angry and alive somewhere. The neighbor's 6 year old wandered over to our house to see what we were eating because their dinner wasn't ready yet. Took one look at my cheesy broccoli and my wild rice mushroom pilaf. The hens and sweet potatoes were still in the oven. And then asked if we had any Halloween candy left. Fortunately his big brother came over to collect him before I could spitefully spoil his appetite. As drama goes. Not that dramatic for our family. But I like to imagine their household in chaos trying to get dinner done and suddenly mum has a home alone Kevin moment. Again. And has to send her other kids out like flying monkeys to figure out which house the kid is visiting. Husband and I didn't set an alarm and had to leave our house at 11am to make it to his uncle's house in time for a noon lunch. We may have woken up at 1pm, after lunch was already over. Overtime for 2 weeks straight before this. But definitely the most relaxing Thanksgiving in years. I made a turkey that wasn't dry and my partner's mother insisted on chopping it into pieces and microwaving it for everyone because hers never looked like that. It's tame but why did I spend 4 hours on it if you're going to use it not being dry as evidence it's undercooked. 
Okay I know you qualified that as tame but if that happened to me I'd fucking lose it. I'm in the air with my son right now. He came home from college and drank all last night, and was vomiting all day today. Good news, an IV and anti-nausea medication works wonders and this will pass, but judgment from my mother shall not. Not this year, but too good not to share. My gran, dad sighed, very catholic and very mild mannered, can't hear but rarely wears a hearing aid, was sitting at the table with my grandpa, mom's side. Old retired steel mill worker who is way too open about everything my grandpa was portioning out his medications after dinner and the following conversation happened. Gran, what are those pills for? Grandpa, they are for my diarrhea. Gran, not able to hear. What was that? Grandpa, very loudly, I said. Diarrhea. My gran seemed beyond horrified. Daughter and her fiancé brought their huge dogs over. The dogs ate our turkey and attacked our dogs. I specifically asked them not to bring the dogs. All in all, one of the better thanksgivings in recent memory. All three of us kids are in our thirties. Single. And renting. Parents not amused. Went to my dad's girlfriend's mom's house. Her brother and his wife and two kids were there. The oldest. A 12 year old girl was like a third parent to their 3 year old autistic son. As soon as he needed anything she was there. She was so somber the entire time. And during dinner either stared straight ahead or at her plate. According to my dad's gf. Before the son was born she was a confident and outgoing little girl. It was really sad to see. This child needs therapy from a good child psychologist. That's really sad. Both my sister and I thought each other was cooking the turkey. Two days ago I made a scrumptious roasted squash soup with Vidalvin and made turkey stock. Last night my husband and I made cranberry sauce. I got up early today to steam a persimmon pudding and roast a few turkey wings so I would have drippings for gravy. Before my sister and her husband arrived, we assembled the dressing, chopped the potatoes to boil for mashing, and laid out a beautiful meat and cheese platter. My sister and Bill arrived with pumpkin pie in the makings for a beet and farro salad. I asked her where the turkey was and she thought I was joking. We are all full. Having eaten all the sides. But, dang, am I ever craving a leftover turkey sandwich. Rough on the grandma's grandma one called mum last night and says. So, I've been seeing shadowy people for the last 3 to 4 days. I think I'm hallucinating and it's my tramadol nope. Definitely has yet another UT and is off the rocker. GPA goes out to get a home test kit and she refuses to pee for over an hour until 10 minutes before the last pharmacy closes. Mum is a physician and despite her best efforts Gran is just avoiding all help. We got her on antibiotics around mid-morning. Other grandma got stuck in the three season porch cuz grandpa forgot she was in there and turned out the light. Grandma fell down a flight of stairs and goddammit the 98 year old took it like a champ. No broken bones or anything. That generation is built different holy shit. My father died this Thanksgiving morning. He has been at home hospice the past 3 weeks. He died peacefully in his sleep. I am very thankful I got to be by his side when he passed. My husband that I left. Tom. His house was broken into and he confronted the burglar and then had to go have eye surgery. My son had to go over and help and then my son. He rolled his car 5 times on the way home. So yeah. I'm under a lot of stress. I think my mum is still in the driveway telling stories saying goodbye. I am getting ready for bed. Also, my brother didn't show. But he said he was going to be with his family. So it wasn't a surprise except to my mum. She brought a birthday cake. His birthday is June. But she hasn't seen him. We had to record us all singing him happy birthday. So. No big drama. Just a family of weirdos. Listening to my stepdad sing karaoke lol. One of my cats grabbed a slice of turkey and then ran off. The others thought it was a game and those started the great meat chase of 2021. My life is kinda boring. Found out my uncle is dabbling in meth with money he stole from family. But no worries. He plans to start making and selling to pay everyone back. My two year old nephew was crying at dinner. Turns out he wanted his uncle to sit with him. It's not uncommon to have family drama but today was drama free and made me feel loved. 